Hello everyone, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Taggy and in this video we will be talking about one of the biggest and one of the most anticipated news so far in 2017 and that is back of Nokia. Just a reminder to everyone to please hit that subscribe button and also the notification and subscribe over here in the desktop and uh, in the computer screen how it should be done it has been portrayed in front of you please do hit that subscribe button so first let's talk about the hmd global so hmd global is a company that consists of a lot of uh, employees from older nokia the nokia that was acquired by microsoft so a lot of employees left the company and then uh, um, hmd global was formed so most of the people working over there are ex nokia employees ex nokia executive officers so they formed an HMD global uh, company so now they took over the Nokia name from Microsoft and uh, announced last year they would be bringing up uh, Nokia smartphones and that will be Android powered uh, they told that it will be coming in first half of 2017 so we were expecting a news by March April but they have announced the phone uh, just uh, in January that was the starting of January 2017 so Nokia 6 has been announced and it is not actually what we expected or what we actually wanted to see it is a little bit of a disappointment so first we'll get through the specifications of the phone so it will be a 5.5 inch full hd screen snapdragon 430 octa core processor 4 gb ram 64 gb of internal storage with a micro sd card slot most probably a hybrid sim card slot as it also mentions dual sim card slot 4g connectivity 16 megapixel rear camera with a 8 megapixel front camera and a 3000 mAh battery so overall it does looks uh, to be a pretty decent package for a mid-range or for a lower mid-range device a little bit of an identical uh, specification k6 note but everything actually goes bad when we talk about the pricing pricing of the phone is 1699 chinese yuan it has not yet come on sale it will not be coming on sale anytime soon but the pricing has been announced at 1700 chinese yuan when we directly convert it it's around 17,000 indian rupees or 250 us dollars that is expensive for a device like that so let's compare it with the already present devices in india right now so 18,000 rupees only 1000 rupees extra you can get a snapdragon 820 device that is uh, lenovo z2 plus you can also get an le max 2 at uh, 18,000 rupees if you go to china you can get a lot of devices at uh, snapdragon 820 821 that is le eco le pro 3 that is xiaomi mi5 mi5 s there are a lot of devices in china and they are right now china exclusive only they have announced that it will be china only right now and it will be coming in sale in first half of 2017 so it is a little bit of a disappointment because of the pricing because uh, for 12,000 indian rupees we get a snapdragon 650 device that is the redmi note 3 very very successful in india if you go to 17,000 18,000 rupees you get a snapdragon 820 device then why would anyone buy a snapdragon 430 device for 17 18,000 indian rupees if it comes to india anytime soon so the first disappointment was the pricing second disappointment is the battery it's a 3000 mAh battery yes uh, snapdragon 430 is pretty decent on the power saving but still a 3000 mAh battery that uh, isn't really that big of a thing right now 4000 mAh battery is sort of getting a basic uh, thing now and 3000 is a smaller battery and the other uh, disappointment and for me one of the biggest disappointment is in the announcement it's written china exclusive that is a disappointment we needed nokia to come out and actually challenge uh, Chinese manufacturers in global market not in China in global market China is a very big market for Nokia but India was also a very big market for Nokia and they only being China exclusive is a little bit of a disappointment in my point of view because India a lot of people are waiting for Nokia to come back they heard the announcement that Nokia will be coming back and everyone was like when 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 and now when they have announced it it looks to be a little bit of a disappointment because when it will be coming to India is a question mark again. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. This was a video where I was sharing my impressions or my thoughts regarding the Nokia comeback and uh, their first device. It is interesting to see they are coming back. It is good to see they are coming back. It is good to see they are announcing the device. They really need to get a hands uh, on that. It is not 2000s anymore. It is 2017 where the Chinese smartphone manufacturers are really very powerful. So they need to realize that it is not the 2000, 2010s anymore. It is 2017. It's been a long time. They need to evolve. Thank you very much for watching. Do hit that like button. Do share this video and please do subscribe if you haven't already. And I would really like to see you in my next video. Till then, see ya. Thank you very much for watching this video.